Ladies and gentlemen, today we look at Nesta. Two star skills, three star weak foot, six foot, one. He's got medium high work rates, which are fantastic, which means he's going to be tracking back, which is exactly what I want him to do. Look at them stats. Look at them stats. They look absolutely incredible. Look at his interceptions. Defense awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle are incredible. Pretty much maxed out. Physicals look bonkers as well. 75 stamina, he's got great jumping, he's got great strength and aggression. His pace, fantastic at 75 acceleration. I'd rather have my defender be quick off the mark and have quick sprint and then be fast at sprint speed wise. I'd rather have the instant acceleration. He's got leadership trait as well, power header, team player. This card, you know, when you talk Nesta, you talk defending. Talk Maldini, Baresi, some of the Italian giants definitely know how to defend. Now, what did I think about him and did I like him? That is the question. How did he play? Well, he was ridiculously good. Let's just be honest. I'm not going to beat around the bush. He was fabulous. Look at what he does to Oshiman. Check this out. Oh my days. Took him, sent him to bed. You know, that's what Nesta would do to him in real life. And that's one thing I love about this game. It's sort of emulated Nesta's awareness when it comes to defending. His slide tackles, brilliant. Stand tackles, fantastic. His strength, brilliant. He'll just come in the way, take the ball off. He'll show his aggressive, his aggressive way of defending. It's fantastic. His, his short pass was really good and very, very reliable. I really, really like this card. Now, in previous installments of FIFA, I don't think I'd be getting this card. But this year, he's stupidly good. Now, I remember when this game first came out, when they were saying how Van Dijk would be a great defender because he's more intelligent when it comes to defending. Well, if he's good, he can bet Nesta will be incredible. Now, there's not a massive pace difference either. With his shadow, he definitely felt quick. He wasn't really getting beaten for pace. I'll be honest with you. I'm not even trying to have you on. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I mean. Look at this. Got beaten for pace, but catches up to the guy there. I think that was Erling Brand Holland. That was fantastic, wasn't it? Really good showing that pace. Do you know what? This is a proper, proper card. If I were to get him, I'd pair him up with his friend, Barazio Maldini. Honestly, they would be a brilliant duo. This guy definitely has a bullish attitude to defending. His interceptions, brilliant slide tackle you guys have seen from this video are ridiculous. Price, I think he's very well priced in the game. This card is a full on 9.3 out of 10. I wish this card was a little bit faster. You know why? He would just be more end game then, wouldn't he? He would just be end game. If he was 80 odd pace, he would be end game because he's got everything else. What an unbelievable card. Agility. Obviously, he's going to struggle against Neymar. But then when he uses strength on Neymar, Neymar's going to fall down. Let's be honest. What a card. What a card. Highly recommend.